Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are right at the intersection of Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama. We are on Lake Pickwick and we are excited about it. I suspect this little container right here is going to matter to us a lot today. We are going ledge fishing. We're about to pop a map card, get out here on the main river, start poking around, and see if we can find some big bass. All right, guys, it is almost three o'clock in the afternoon now. We have driven all over this lake, checking ledges, checking brakes, checking structures, underwater bridges, road beds, ledges. We finally located a group of fish. That is a difficult part of ledge fishing is actually finding fish because there's miles and miles and miles of ledge. But we found an area, let me close this. We've got an area where we have a, a river arm coming in to the main river. There's kind of a current seam and there's a ledge that pops up here right between them and the fish are right up on top in 20 to 25 feet of water. We haven't caught any of them yet, but it's a big school. I think we're going to. I've always wanted the opportunity to come out here and throw the LV on a school of ledge fish on this lake. I'm finally gonna get my shot. Hopefully I can get one of these fish to go. Ooh. We're out here in 22 foot, right on the break. Now that is our first fish out of Pickwick. Pretty cool. Hopefully you guys are able to see this now that we've caught a couple of fish. We've got some fish sitting under the boat right now. Over here, this is the main river. This is the little offshoot. We're right here in the intersection. I'm gonna zoom in. You can see the series of waypoints that we've set out here. These fish are sitting right on that ledge. The current's coming down the river and jumping up that ledge. And the fish are right on top, eating all the bait and shad and everything that comes down. There is an incredible amount of current coming downstream right now. That's what's grouping these fish up. It's an ideal scenario, but the water's going so fast that frankly, we aren't prepared. The LV won't fish, our bottom baits won't fish because they're not heavy enough. So we're having to adapt. That's a one ounce jig, it ends up back here. <laughs> now that's just fun right there. We couldn't come out here and fish these ledges without at least trying that big hair jig. And it works. Awesome. Little guy. 
Little one, 6XV, sexy shad. Just a bold color. Shows up well in the dingy water and they eat it. I love when these fish get these black marks on them. So cool looking. <laughs> Old flathead catfish wanting in on the action. You know, this is probably the first time that I've fished the combination of both deep water with a heavy current, and I'm not used to it. I think it's gonna take some time to learn that. Um, so far, me and this lake are not getting along. We had them fired up for a minute, but they're over it. There's one. not every day I catch them on a custom purple rod, but when I do, it's lefty and it's got CeCe's name on it. <laughs> that fish ate a one ounce spin tricks, an underspin, the 4.8 Kitek. We're actually gonna have to wrap it up here, guys. We're cutting our day even shorter than expected. A couple minutes ago, all of a sudden, my graph started shutting down on the boat, stopped working completely. Off camera, we did a little bit of research figured out that we blew the fusible link in the outboard. When you're out here on the road, you never know what's gonna go wrong, but something is always gonna go wrong. So fusible link goes from the alternator to the rest of the motor. So essentially the battery's not getting juiced up when you're running down the lake. So we're losing voltage, things are starting to shut down, and we need the last of our juice to get the outboard started to get in so we can head to the local marine deal around here and pick up another fusible link. No big deal, it's just one of those things that happens. But to recap the day, again, we're out here on Pickwick. We wanted to catch them on ledges. We pushed it, finally found a school of fish. There's probably 100 yards of fish here, maybe 50 yards of fish here, a couple hundred fish on the ledge. As the water humps up over the ledge, they're sitting right on top facing the current. And we're bringing these baits down that current 
and they're picking them off. We need heavy baits, so a heavy hair jig. And we've never really talked a lot about the hair jig on the channel. We'll do an in-depth video for you guys at some point this summer on hair jig fishing because it is a really fun way to catch them. And then that heavy underspin, and then of course a deep crank. We're throwing a 6XD and a, one of the bigger sixth cents. And I'll link all that stuff down in the video description for you guys. I'm sorry we've got to cut today short. Hope you enjoyed coming along for a little while here on Pickwick. I wish we had time to run around and find seven or eight of these spots that were stacked. Try and find some really, really big ones. But unfortunately, we've got, bid, we've got bad weather coming in day after tomorrow. So we want to jump and keep fishing other lakes. So we want to get to another lake tomorrow while we still got the sun before this really bad thunderstorm comes in, shuts us down for a couple of days. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate you. We appreciate you coming along with us. Hope you had some fun too. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.